Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop Effect series. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create the halftone effect inside of Photoshop, which can be used to create amazing posters like the ones that you are seeing currently on your screen, right? If this is what you want to do and you want to learn more of this, kindly subscribe to my channel so you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping after this time around. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is create a document, 1920 by 1080, 300 res resolution, and um, RGB transparent background, everything else stays the same. So the first thing I like to do is um, immediately I'm greeted with the interface. This is the interface, right? So the first thing I need to do is bring in the image I want to use. You can get this image in the link in the description of this video so you can practice alongside All right so you can use this and what you want to do next is go to adjustment layer click on solid color like this and make sure the color is set to white like this that's the color code All right so immediately you've done that reduce the opacity so that you can see the image because we want to mask out only the area that that effect should carry right so go over to the brush and what you want to do is make sure you follow the settings right your hardness is set to 50 max yes you can do 50 or you can leave it at 48 and what you want to do with black selected click twice one two so just twice i'm clicking on just the head because that's the area i want to be reviewed right select the two layers and what you should do is convert it to smart object like this when you do that, go to filter and um, select pixelate, then color half tone like this. Then you can copy my settings, right? But another thing you need to know is you can be flexible with these settings here. You can change and um, you can set and look at what works best. You can always change it, right? Change the blend mode to screen and voila, this is what you have. So let's say I want something I can choose 30. I can go as much as setting into 50. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So you can be flexible with your with the numbers you have there. Just try and see what works for you. Right? So this is how this one, this particular one is created. Now let's move over to something different. Let's say I have um, an image like this. Right? This is also included in the resource file. So I'm just going to drag this inside and to create this, I'm going to use a different approach. Now, the first thing I want to do is go over to adjustment layer and um, quite different from this. So I'm going to go to adjustment layer, select this and I'm going to select gradient, right? So inside the gradient, make sure you don't choose this one, the first one. Open this up and make sure you're choosing this one that goes from black to white, right? I'm just going to change the angle. So instead of this, I'm just going to flip it back and use this angle and use my um mouse or your cursor to make sure you have um a perfect balance of white and black like this right so having done that click ok like this right click on this layer and convert it to smart object right so what you need to do next is go to filter go to pixelate and select this and again i'm going to use different values right i'm going to change the values up switch it up and click OK. You can see how this one has turned up. Change the blend mode to screen and voila, you have your nice halftone effect, right? I can go back there, double click and make this 10 or 15 to see the difference, right? So you can easily go, since it's a smart object, you can click on the effect and apply changes to it, right? So it's flexible. I can duplicate this and flip it and move this to this side here to create a whole some half tone effect around the image like this easy peasy right so you can even group them and reduce the opacity depending on what you want to achieve but i would not advise you to go that route so this is how the effect is supposed to be guys so this is how i was able to create these posters inside of photoshop if you've loved this video if you like this video please hit the like button and you can also feel free to share this video with your friends and your loved ones. And whatever you do, please do not forget to subscribe so that you will not miss any videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. I love you guys.